Good afternoon, butt kickers. It's December 31, the 365th and final day of 2011, and I don't think I have to tell you what that means. That's right, it means that 316 years ago today, the British government imposed a window tax. You either enjoy the outdoors while also endearing the elements, or you live in a cave. You can't have both unless you bloody pay us. Okay, so that's probably not what you'd thought I'd say, but I keep you guessing until the very end. That's, that's Griff, Griff Deal! Yeah. What you probably thought I'd say is that, yeah, this is the very end. As in, holy crap, this is the very, very end. Not like all those fake ends I did before. You remember the jokes that got tired after approximately the third time, and ever since then, you've shut them out of your memory. You do remember those, right? Oh, wait, you, you shut them out of your memory. Never mind. Well, this is it. This is the final episode of It's the Program. I don't blame you if you don't believe me, either. After all, no one believed the boy who cried wolf when the wolf actually did show up. I wouldn't be surprised if the same concept applied to this scenario. With one minor alteration, I don't think I'll be mauled by a wolf at the end. That seems not in the fable, no, but you have to read the subtext. Wow, I am really beating around the bush. Man, how should I end this thing? Wait, I know! Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Hey guys, uh... Whew. Welcome back to Griff's Dream Journal. You know what they say, if you record your dreams after you have them, you'll have more dreams and you'll remember them more easily. That being said, I just came out of a whopper. Man, I, I dreamt that I did this year-long web series and... <coughs> alright, alright. Fine. Guess it has been done to death anyway. But I got more stock endings where that came from. For example, Griff was dead the whole time. Or... All the will-they-won't-they they couples finally get together and they live the rest of their lives in glorious, not-filmed unity. Or how about a pregnancy? Yeah, that's good. And a series with a beginning. Man, it's so nauseatingly poetic that it spins all the way back around to being just plain poetic. Well, get this, viewers. Rosalina Estrella Conejo, Our Lady 2011, the year which has gone by in a blink of an eye, is Preggers. Yes, even in her old theoretical age, she is theoretically with child. Well, you see, she has an advantage here, seeing how she's not a real person, merely a personification of an idea, she doesn't go through menopause. She also didn't need to be impregnated, taking the pressure off of loads of male personified ideas, because Rosalina, at her ripe old age of 81, well, she ain't looking too hot. Or hot. The gestation period for a baby year is approximately the length of one day and I fear that as she gives life to 2012, hers will end. What will little 2012 grow up to be? What amazing accomplishments are in store for 2012? And will 2012 live to be 366 days old, or will it be murdered on December 21st by the Mayans? In any case, here's hoping 2012 will be the class act its mother was. And just because I won't be here, mouthing off every day, doesn't mean that each of its 366 days should be seized any less. And this just in, 2012, it's a boy. Let's kick his butt together. What do you say? And that's it. That was the program. I am done talking. However, there is just one more thing I'd like to say. Hello everyone, my name is Nathaniel Grifton, although you probably know me as Other Griff. And a while back, I was diagnosed with multiple personality disorder. And my life, or should I say lives, changed forever. There were many personas tugging for control over my brain, but one of them seemed more resilient and powerful than all the others. His name was, and is, Griff. He would take over for long stretches of time, posting video game stuff to YouTube in an attempt to make himself a public entity. I saw it as a chance for him to vent, to satisfy him with these small vignettes, of dominance. But instead of satisfying him, these so-called Let's Plays only made him hungrier. He began referring to me as the lesser personality. He even fashioned a new name for me, Other Griff. Fearing his complete dominance, I went to see a psychiatrist. The one on 4th Street. He's pretty good, but his secretary is smoking. He told me that I needed to vent Griff even more. And so I fashioned this year-long web series in an attempt to satisfy him once and for all. And I think it's finally worked. Thank you, everyone, for giving him the illusion that he was a real entity. God bless you, and God bless America. P.S. I'm not going anywhere.